Hello and welcome back to Vermonters. So today I'm going to be showing you my new solar panel system on the glamping pod. This has been a project I've been working on for a couple of weeks now. Um, it's basically a 500 watt system um, leading into a, a, well it's just a farm battery for now but I am going to invest in some 150 milliamp uh, batteries. But uh, here we go. So I can't remember when the last glamping pod video was but I've done a few things since then. Um, one being the solar panel system, as you can see. I'll, I'll go through this in a moment. And uh, inside, we also have uh, the bed. <laughs> the bed. This bed was delayed by about one and a half months because of coronavirus. But I reckon it goes in really well. All I need now is a mattress and some uh, duvets. And it's getting there. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all the new stuff. So if I go back to the solar system, what we have is a 60 amp MP MPPT solar charge controller. So this thing here, it feeds the power from the solar panels on these uh, two cables, if you could see it. Let's do. And if we take them back, so one's positive and one's um, um, neutral, uh, not negative, not neutral. <laughs> And they, they go into these MC4 connectors, as you can see. Hopefully it's not too windy or loud. We are like uh, injecting cattle in the background, so you might hear some mooing. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's how it goes together. Like They just clip in, really. Very simple. Um, although I think one should be red and one should be black. You know, just uh, the obvious. So these are 260 watts each. I got them second hand. They're about £70, £75 pounds, uh, when I bought them. They are a couple of years old, but I haven't had any problems with them. And the guy who I bought them off is willing to sell me some more uh, when I need them. Um, so if we come back to this, we have our MT50. Uh, it's a bit dusty. I'm not even sure you'll be able to see it in a light. But this uh, just gives a display of the, um, the voltages. So it's, um, well, I'm getting about, what was it, 12 and a half volts in, into here, uh, that displays it on here and it also displays um, like the battery voltage so it's 13.8 volts on the, <laughs> the manky battery I, I found in the shed um, like this is only a temporary battery I don't intend to use it, um, you know, to run the pod I am going to buy some leisure batteries but it's just uh, good to see, uh, see if it worked uh, when I plugged it in um, so yep, here's the MT50. I'll be putting a link of all the items I used in the description. And it's like this uh, com, it's an ethernet cable essentially. It's just feeds into the back of it. Uh, next up we have our 60 amp fuse. Because oh, it is a 60 amp MP uh, charge controller. I just thought I'd protect it with a 60 amp uh, fuse. <laughs> just repeating myself a bit there, but uh, hey well. And that uh, goes into the... Uh, positive inverter right here this is pure sine wave um, I did look into it uh, pure sine wave is definitely the way to go um, can't remember what, what the other one's called I think um, I'll, I'll put some subtitles in I can't remember off the top of my head uh, but this is a 2 kilowatt um, inverter with a peak of 4 kilowatt it's a bit overkill for what I'm doing to be honest but um, I mean, I get better go big so I can, you know, future-proof it with more panels in future. So after, you know, the the DC, this is a DC feeding into here, um, goes in. We have a, another uh, breaker, 200 amps, and that feeds down and into a battery. So it's very simple, really. It just looks a bit crazy with all the cables going everywhere. <laughs> and it did take me a while and a fair few YouTube videos to get my head around it. I will link, um, I put a link in the description where I, what I watched. I think his name's, uh, he's an American bloke. He was really good actually. Something solar pow power. Um, but yeah, that, that's a system essentially. So uh, 12 and a half volt or 14 volt, one of them, <laughs> DC runs into the charge controller. That trickle charges the battery and it also feeds the, the inverter which converts the DC to AC power 240 volts at the bottom and into my plug. Um, 
so yeah, well actually I had to <laughs> I made a mistake, um, well I didn't, the electrician did. They put a male uh, adapter on the back and of course I wired it in and forgot that I had to take the back piece off so I've sort of bodged it in for now because I was going to do a male to male, like a male plug to a male uh, 16A socket but I figured that might kill me because it's just, just going to be live over end so I better not do that. Um, but yeah, so this that, that socket just feeds out from there and into a fuse box inside the pod. Um, here, so if, like I wondered why it wasn't working to start with, but you have to you have to flick the fuses up. <laughs> so there, there, sorry, there is a good layer of protection in case a surge does happen. So I've got three or four fuses between here and the pod. Uh, so yeah, that, that is the system really, very basic, um, yeah I didn't really do many calculations, I just put it together and hoped for the best and it seems to have worked, uh, <laughs> probably not the best way of doing things but um, yeah, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I just mowed the grass here so it didn't look like an absolute mess. So the pod's almost done, um, but yeah, what's up here, I might as well show you the power. So uh, these are 3 watt lights, and I've got 4 in the, oh, focus, 4 in the main room, and there's 2 in the bathroom. So if I turn the bathroom on, with the, uh, the camera, focus, okay, sorry, <laughs> if we turn it on, we have a light, which I, I, am, I am surprised worked, to be honest. Well, I plugged it in, I was going to be like, oh, it's a 50 chance it will work and a 50 chance it won't, but uh, it came out quite tidy. And I was sort of worried I nailed through the uh, electricity cable the, when I did the um, exterior cladding. But um, no, it all seems to be good. And if we do the main room... Oh, this camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm due to be getting a new camera soon, so I don't have to rely on this old thing, but... Um, Wait. There you go. <laughs> Just thought I'd make it dramatic. And these are really efficient, like I said, 3 watts. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yes, I can do maths to some miracle. So that's, that's only 18 watt feed off my 520 watt system. And of course, I'm going to be having um, not a lot really. I mean, we've got the gas hob for, for a kettle if they need a hot drink in the morning. The boiler here, I'm not sure if it'll feed it yet, but I can just turn it on. Uh, I think something up. But no, it, it's not connected yet. I need the gas technician to come back out and install the, the gas bottles uh, when we move it down the field. And, um, oh yeah, there's another thing. I'm also going to have a fridge in that compartment. No, this compartment here. Um... I'm going to get a bar fridge, so they can just... Well, I don't really want people cooking in here. I mean, they can if they want. But I don't want loads of grease everywhere and people making a mess. So I'm only going to store in, like, some milk. Uh, some fruit, you know, something simple. A bit of water, maybe. Um, so, yeah. So, above the bed here, we have some sockets. And that bit, that is a really useful one. It's a USB. Um, so people can charge their phones. I am going to put a shelf like here, so I'll have a cable, um, well, the person who's staying will have a cable up onto their phone with a shelf, with some books and what have you. Um, yeah, so, you know, just to further show you that it's working, and I am going to give you a noise work um, warning, because this thing is loud. Uh, so yeah, there's your noise um, warning for headphone users. I'm just going to turn this on. The lights do flicker a bit, because, um, well, I, I'm not really sure how big that battery is, but it's not big enough. <laughs> but yeah, I have a few more sockets dot, uh, dotted about the pod. Uh, two there, two up in the corner. I might even fit an espresso machine in here, that might be quite nice. And I think there's a plug, or two plugs in here. I can't remember, I don't think there is, no. But, um, yeah. I've also got a bit of a door frame in. It didn't really line up, but we won't look into that too closely. 
and it, it just generally needs a clean, to be honest, um, and some furnishings, which will be the next episode, um, furnishing everything. Um, so yeah, that's a system, really. I mean, very simple video. Hopefully I haven't bored you too much. Ah, uh, oh, here's another thing. This is my temperature sensor, which should not be in the ground in the dirt. And this just simply plugs into the bottom of the charge controller. If I can do this. See, temp sensor. Oh. There we go. And this, um, this sensor just goes on your battery, which ideally should not be in the sun. Uh, but yeah, that's it really. Uh, the pot has light. Oh, that's another thing. We're going to stick an outdoor light above a door, and we're going to, I think we'll change the door. Or, nah, I think I'll just strip the paint and paint it um, brown or something. Because white is not the best look. But yeah, that's it. <laughs> I've said that's it about four times now. Um, but yeah, I'll just unplug that. That's that one done. And yeah, as for um, like what I'm using the power for, obviously lights, a fridge, and an espresso machine I think will do. I won't really bother with a TV unless I end up living in it by some miracle. Which I could, to be honest. I could quite easily, but I don't really need to. Um, so yeah. The next step will be furnishing it with a, a mattress, <laughs> for one. Moving all the junk out. Um, sealing up a few of these holes around the edges here. And um, I might just silicon them, to be honest. And... Um, and lastly, moving it down the pod without dropping it or breaking it in half. It should be, uh, well, moving it down the field, sorry. It uh, should be um, rather interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions for my solar system, I do aim to run t uh, at least two pods off this eventually. Um, yeah, but <laughs> I thought the lights went out then. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, mm, uh, two, two pods, maybe, maybe a third pod, um, and see how it goes in the future. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. See ya.